here. When you start up the car, you're defaulted in normal mode. Okay, traction control, advanced track, all of that is on. Um, your steering mode, which is right here, actually stays wherever you last put it. So it could be in sport, comfort, or normal. Um, it, uh, I usually keep it in sport, but that stays the same. However, when you start up the car, your mode and your traction control, these two, are going to be set to normal and defaulted um, with all the traction control on. So, quick re refresher. Right? You flip it once, and you're going to go to normal. Right? It just sort of brings up the drive mode. You're still in normal, I should say. So, you click it your second time, and you're in Sport Plus. Third time, you're in Track, which says Traction Control off, but to clarify, that doesn't mean Advanced Track is off. Okay, the most you know sort of advanced hidden form of traction control is still there. So that's when you go right here and clip it, hold it for about five full seconds, and then you'll see advanced track off pop up about now. Yep. And of course you just tap the uh, traction control button to turn it back on. So this was basically just a really fun idea that I uh, came up with driving around one day. I want to start by stating all of these information slides that are going to be popping up over the next minute. Uh, I suggest you pause on them and, and read them in full as they get into details about what the weather was like that day. Um, you know, if I did all this on the same road surface and uh, why I launched the way that I did, why I shifted when I did, all of that stuff. And... In reference to the voiceover, I just really want to stress that this wasn't done in any sort of attempt to get the best 0 to 60 times that I possibly could. I was just trying to get rid of all the variables to make sure that as close as we basically can get to a science, looking at the driving modes and seeing if they actually affect anything in reference to acceleration. Again, nothing is really a science with 0 to 60s, but I think I got pretty close, uh, and, and the results are kind of interesting. Just one final reminder, these are pulls being done on the stock tune not my Unleashed Tune version of the car.